welcome to my channel. Today's recipe, I'm gonna show you how to make a roasted cauliflower, a whole one, in the oven, and we're gonna be adding some spices to it. And when it gets done, it takes about an hour, it, uh, it comes out with all this beautiful roasted flavor and, of course, all the seasonings that you put on it. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. To go over our ingredients, first up we need our cauliflower. So here's a nice full head. We'll need some Dijon mustard, Parmesan cheese, some fresh lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, some fresh minced garlic, parsley, some fresh avocado, a little bit of salt, some maple syrup, and some olive oil. To start off our recipe, I'm preheating my oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we need to start roasting our cauliflower. So what I've done is I rinsed it off and now I'm just making sure that it's dry. So I'm patting it with a paper towel and I'm even shaking it to get some of the water out. You want it to be dry so that it doesn't, you know, steam in the oven when you're trying to roast it. All right, so that's pretty good. Now what you want to do is take a knife and we're going to cut out all this greenery here on the bottom. So just carefully cut off these leaves so that we can get down to the cauliflower and you can see that. Now I'm gonna cut the core out a little bit so that it's not there anymore. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of make a V cut into the center. Just rotate. Until you get that core out. And you can trim out any other pieces in there that you need to get out. All right. Now, sometimes your cauliflower will have these little black spots, little mold spots on top. And if you see those, just go ahead and take your knife and just shave them off like this. I mean, I really don't have any, but I just wanted to show you what to do, in case you do, all right? Now, I have a cast iron pan here, and that's what I'm gonna roast this in. Now, we'll just add some olive oil to the cauliflower. We're just gonna rub it in. So just give it a nice little massage, spread it around, and even do the bottom. Then place, you know, a little bit of salt on there. Just sprinkle some all the way around, and I'm even going to do the, the bottom area. And this is going in the oven for about 30 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So while the cauliflower is roasting in the oven for 30, 30 to 40 minutes, but we'll start with 30, we're going to take all of our other ingredients and we're going to place them into this food processor here so we can get our sauce made. So first up, we're going to place some olive oil in here. Toss in a little parsley, garlic. Here's our fresh lemon juice. Apple cider vinegar. Our Dijon mustard. Parmesan cheese. Have a little maple syrup to balance out all those acidic flavors. And put a pinch of salt in there. And then we're going to toss in our avocado. And you're going to want to scrape down the sides a little bit, just once or twice. So this is what it should look like. Nice and creamy. Smells wonderful too, guys, by the way. Here's our cauliflower after about 38 minutes. I went a little longer than I said originally, but I want that nice golden brown going on. I hope you can see that right here. Okay. Now we're gonna take our sauce and I'm going to just sort of slather it up right on top. So you wanna spread it all the way down the sides of the cauliflower head, so work it on down. 
All right, this is going back in the oven for probably another 20 minutes. So I just took the cauliflower out of the oven. It, went, it was in there for 20 more minutes and it's looking and smelling mighty fine, let me tell you. So the way you serve this, you can just cut it into chunks for individual servings. So that's what I'll do. I'll go ahead and just cut a piece out. It's nice and tender in there. You can see the steam rising, huh? Look at that. I'm gonna take a bite. Has that nice roasted flavor that you'd expect and the sauce is nice. The garlic is nice and mellow now. It's been cooked and it's just got that nice citrusy kind of flavor to it. Got a little hint, very slight hint of sweetness. I think you guys are gonna love this. Try this and the next time you make uh, you know, cauliflower and you, you wanna give it a go. All right, everybody, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave me a comment, let me know if you're gonna make it. I'd like to hear about it and I'd like to hear your results after you do make it. So uh, yeah, let me know. And if you're new to my channel and you'd like to subscribe, we'd love to have you. Click that subscribe button. There'll be one at the end of the video right up here on the screen. Uh, just click that and the bell and you'll be notified uh, every week when a new video comes out. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.